Tom. Hello everybody, Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode, we started on chapter 14, the first chapter where we get to see Garrick Mock after the five year time skip and uh, uh, I mean, like, we're doing our best to repair it, but man, did it really fall to shambles after the battle. It really wasn't the yeah. battle that caused it, it was more, uh, just the fact that they didn't really, like, upkeep it while they were searching for, uh, Rhea. Anyway, uh, in this episode, we're probably gonna do these two quests that are to our left here. I do have a ton- I, I gave gifts to, like, everybody during- during this time, so I can get their support conversations, but I'm gonna save those for when I encounter them naturally, except for the ones of the, uh, of the, um, the other knights around here, because those ones you have to do in this area. So, let's just go ahead and end this, uh, end our free time for the night- for the- for the time. End our free time for the time. I'm tripping up over my own words here, let's teach the students. And we can see that training is a little bit different now, as opposed to it being actual training. Everyone has a seat at the table, and we just sort of like, we discuss everything that we're going to do. And boy, there are a lot of people. There are only two empty seats left in here. I wonder, I wonder how many people you could feasibly have here. Which is probably going to come to fr uh, come to fruition in a later playthrough I do, where I do try to get everybody. Let's go ahead and instruct people. Oh, overall, it's basically the same, but I still want to go into it and, and do the instructions as I would normally do. Uh, let's see. Hilda? Let's get your riding up some more. Good. Now she's B rank. This will be helpful. Yeah, I would think so. Just saying. Let's get Leone's bow skill up. I... Perfect. <laughs> I... I'm getting it. I think uh, during the free time she should just just like get all of it. Get it all. Get it all. I'm gonna train up uh, Dorothea in uh, Faith. It's starting to feel like a part of me. Because if I can get that, if I can get that to be one of her budding talents, I think I mentioned this before, I, wa I want to try to get that to be one of her budding talents, that way it's not a weakness, but a strength. Who else? Lawrence! I, wanted to, I want Lawrence to learn uh, white magic as well. Or faith as well, because he'll um, he'll benefit from that being a magic class. Although now that I'm looking at this, I am getting. What is his writing at? His writing's at A, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Not bad, not bad. Cloud, your flying is at B. Your X's are at B. Your bows are at B plus. Let's go for. I'll go for a mix of flying. If he gets a perfect, I'll put three into flying and axes. He did not get that. Yeah, okay. Who else do I want to train today? Uh, Flame. Let's train up her reasoning. Perfect! No. And we got one more left. Uh, Lysithia. I kind of want to see what A plus rank, uh, let's get her into B plus for, for that. I guess all that time wasn't wasted. If I can get her up to A rank for, uh, for authority, that should be good. I mostly want to see what, like, S rank would grant. A plus, reasoning ability I five. All that time wasn't wasted. And that's everybody. Uh, group tasks. Has this changed at all? Stable duty, rubble clearing, and skywatch. I, I'm honestly curious about rubble clearing to see if that would actually change things up around here. I doubt it would, but it wouldn't hurt. Let's get Aloise and Raphael doing it. In terms of goals, everyone more or less I want to keep the same. I think I'm going to change Lawrence from, uh... Writing and, uh, and, uh, reason to reason and faith. Because I'm pretty sure he's good where he is. 
Ignatz could stay the course. Marianne can pretty much stay the course. Everyone else can pretty much stay the course. I, sh I should look into getting, yeah, Stores and Faith with her. Everyone else is good there. Let's just begin our training then. Professor, may I ask you a question? You may. I desperately want to travel to some uh, of the places my mother and I spent time in, but I'm not really allowed to leave the monastery walls for such things. It makes me feel sad. Is there anything I could do? Take a nap, maybe you'll have a dream about her. Close your eyes, pretend she's with you. Maybe you could paint a picture of your mother to help. Uh, I see. Motivation increased. As did my professor rank. Nice. I wish I could get more of those questions a week, because that'd be like really good for my professor rating. All right, Tuesday we're speaking to Sadith. Professor, a moment. I am sorry that I doubted your ability. I deeply regret ever holding such a view of you. It is obvious to me now that you are extraordinary. Really? Do you doubt your own power even now? I suppose that's only natural. You've lived your whole life knowing next to nothing about yourself. Not even Geralt could have possibly known all there is to know about you. But I wonder, are you satisfied with that? What do you mean? Are you content not knowing who you are? Or do you yearn to know more? I... I wish to know more. That was a foolish question, of course. You are not the sort to be complacent. So, only one more question matters. Are you ready? Ready for what? The truth. All of it. Learning it will doubtlessly have direct consequences on your life. I do not know what those will be. You may decide, once you learn it, that you wish you hadn't. But even if you have such regrets, you will never be able to return to ignorance. So, are you ready to know the truth? Yes, I am. I see. That is what I wish to hear. Since the Archbishop put so much faith in you, I will continue to offer my aid. More than that, I will put my faith in you as well, and I will do all that is within my power to help you someday reach the truth. He really made it seem like that he knew, not that he was going to, like, help me. Sounds good. Let's go for it. Ready to hop to it. Look okay, at him clearing the rubble. We'll have to do better next time. They did. They got a good. They got a good. More cards for my sleeve. Axe prowess level four. Let's see it in action. Point blank volley. I'm a quick study. Sword prowess level four. Age is but a number. Bow prowess level four. I always was a quick study. Sword prowess level four. Nice. And here we are. Today is St. Uh, St. Darrow's Day. Sarah's Day. There will be a hymn recital in the cathedral. Will you participate? Yes. Because honestly, there's no reason not to. Is this necessary? I'll sing if I must. I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud? Bonds among you three grew significantly. Three of you gained a significant amount of faith experience. Can you not gain some authority experience? And also, my professor rating goes up. Nice! Take that, RateMyProfessor.com! Tis a flawed system, to say the least. Alright. A lot of people do battles here. Uh, certifications. Gonna leave it as is because, well, I've mentioned this before. I want them to, to master their, their uh, professions before then. So, we have a couple of quests. And I think it's in two places we haven't been to before, so we're gonna do both of them. Dealing with Deserters. Verdant Wind, Chapter 14. The Alliance Leader's Ambitions. All right, as always, we're gonna look at what we got here. Nope, wait, we have done this area before. Uh, so I think instead I'll just do what I've done before in the past with these, where I've uh, showed what units I use 
uh, what their stats are and then what their stats are in the at the uh, the end of the battle. We get no harm in taking a quick look at what we have around here. Uh, archers. It is like 80% archers and a few magic users. All right. Well, if that's all we're gonna be seeing right here, then uh, let's go ahead and organize our troops. All right, here's what our units are looking like for this battle. Uh, I, I'm not gonna be using Can You Not and uh, and Claude for this uh, for this um, match event mission uh, because they're way higher level than any of my other units. I think I'm not gonna use them in the next one either. Uh, I've, I've made I've put some adjutants on here. I'm not really gonna bother with their weapons that much either because I think for the most part They're pretty much good uh, I can't remember what which adjutants I have I think can you not is on flane um, Cyril is on uh, Cyril is on Lysithia and Claude is on Hilda I think So now that that's all settled I'll See you guys at the end of the battle only thorns left on this rose I'm getting the hang of it. Dorothea learned authority level one by getting to E plus rank on uh, on authority, and her battalion leveled up. And with that single gain in uh, in uh, one skill, this is what everyone's uh, stats looking like right now. Uh, people leveled up a little bit, mostly Marianne. I've been using her a lot in this. This is what the stats look like as well. For for your perusal, for your perusal. And uh, we're gonna finish this off. Give Flane some of that extra experience there, because she got a really good hit on this guy. And I kind of want to see. Yes, Cutting Gale will do it. I cannot lose. Flane's resilience is something to be admired because she could just like, she's unstoppable against other magicians. Marianne had a lot of action this battle. Are we now an increase? And we completed this mission. Oh, I should have danced once with Dorothea to get her level up a little bit at the end there. Dang it. Oh, well. All right, we got one quest out of the way. Next, we're going to the Sreng Peninsula for Pirates in the North. We'll see if we've done this one before as well. Pirates in the North, Verdant Wind, Chapter 14, The Alliance Leader's Ambitions. We have been here as well. And I believe this was around Fodlin's throat. Swordmasters! Oh boy. This looks like it's going to be just one gigantic battle against a buttload of swordmasters. What are they what are they wielding? At bare minimum, they've got 36 attack. I'm checking to see if any any of them have any high anything higher than that. All of them in pairs of three, minus the boss who's in who's in a set of four. Oh boy, I've got my work cut out for me here. We also have one one mercenary and one white mage just kind of hanging, chilling out there. All right, well, there is that. I'm probably gonna keep the, uh, the group exactly the same as I had it before. So just to show you what they look like now, in case anything's changed since the last time, here are what my units are looking like now. Same thing as before, same adjutants. Uh, Cyril's on Lysithia. Uh... I honestly don't remember who I had. Can you not was on Flane? And Claude was on Hilda. I think I got that right. Good enough. Anyway, I will see you guys at the end of combat. I fully grasped this topic. Can you not uh, gained an ability somewhere? I don't remember what it was. I don't think I could check a Jutens. Nope, I can't check a Jutens. Well, uh, somebody in the comments will know what that ability is and what I raised up. Whoops. All right, and on the last turn of this mission, here's what my units are looking like right now. Uh, I got Flane a lot more action. Lysithia did a lot in this battle, considering that she was able to outrange a lot with, uh, with the staff that she has. Here's what their stats are looking like. And let's go ahead and finish off the final guy. Uh, I should give it to either Flane or Bernadetta. I'm gonna give it to Bernadetta. Denna? Bernadetta! Burning Denna! Burning Denim. There we go, that's her name. I'll Burning Denim. Level up! Bernie's just no good. Louian! One thing I noticed from other level up phrases and whatnot, they've they've grown. Like they're more confident, more like more everything. It's it's great. Renown is increased as well.
Uh huh. All right, let's go ahead and instruct our students yay to gain. We can just skip over this, honestly. I'll do instruct man uh, manually. Or, uh, yeah, in instruct automatically, excuse me. We did get an A rank in something. I kind of skipped over it too quickly. <gasps> Leone would like to speak with you. Is now a good time? Hey, Professor, can we talk? I feel terrible about the last time we spoke. I was trying to apologize and just ended up losing my temper again. I'm really sorry. It's all right. I figured you'd say that, but I still feel like an idiot. Somehow, I just have a hard time keeping my feelings in check around you. And I think if I don't just tell you what I'm thinking, we'll never be able to have a normal conversation. So, let me clear the air. I want us to, uh, engage. You want to get engaged? Uh, yeah, I... Uh, wait, what? No, I mean in a duel. I know it's a sudden thing to ask, but I'm not going to feel settled until I know where I stand. Would you do that for me? All right. Good. Don't hold back, okay? I want to see you at your absolute best. Phew. You got me. I'm completely outmatched. You held your own. Maybe. But you were definitely stronger. Honestly, that's what I needed to see. You're a true successor to Captain Gerald's style of swordplay. I almost felt like you were him. I thought I was competing with you. But that's as pointless as competing against him would have been. So instead of that, I'm going to focus on keeping the promise I made to him. What promise? Captain Gerald said that if anything should happen to him, I'd have to support you in his place. He didn't sound serious at the time, but it was right before he... You know, before we lost him. So, I've decided. I'd like to do just what he said. I know I'm not as strong as I need to be, but I swear to you, I'll train until I am. What do you say? Can I call you my employer? Can I... can I call you dad? I mean, I know I can count on you! Yes! It's official. I'll protect you no matter what. Yep. That wasn't awkward at all. That was a very nice conversation, though, I must say. Any more this week? <gasps> Thursday! Manuela would like to speak with me. So I said, two can play at that game. I told him, a small-time little weasel like you ought to be begging me for attention. Oh, it gets me so mad, so worked up. Why aren't there any men around here who understand what a catch I am? Come to think of it, you've always been nice to me. I mean, you listen to all my problems. I feel like I can really trust you. I don't have that kind of thing with a lot of people. You're a close friend. Right, I got it. I knew you'd say we were just friends. I'd like to maybe talk about this once the war is over. Once we're all safe. All right, enough of this moping around. What we need is a change of mood. Beer! We've still got a lot to do together. All right. When I think about that, what are one or two men? <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong is, it's not just one or two men, it's more like 100 men, maybe even 200, more! I'm... I'm completely... Oh, I can't get out of this mood! Actually, I've got an idea. Exercise will help. I'm going to the training ground. Come on and give me a hand. Gonna work my anger out on 100 training dummies. Maybe 200 if we've got them. <clears throat> All right then. But was that really what she meant by exercise? Shamir would like to speak with you. 
Thanks for your help out there. Battles tend to go smoother with you around. The same with you. <laughs> I think you did most of the heavy lifting. It may be unwise to think this way on the battlefield, but I feel I can trust your commands without question. Why's that? Not sure. I might have an idea, but nah, never mind. I've also noticed that you've been putting me in more precarious situations lately. Almost like you know I won't question your orders. I know I can rely on you. Huh. I'm glad you trust me to get the job done, but still. I knew you were doing it on purpose. You're in a very important position now that you're leading the charge against the Empire. Funny to think you used to just teach at the Officer's Academy. Your old students still call you Professor. That's no title for the commander of an army. I actually like it. You'll always be their professor, huh? You sure are an interesting one. My people lost the war, and I was left to wander Fodlan alone. But I guess meeting you was my prize. You look confused. Did you not know any of this? I was living in my homeland of Dagda, up until the Imperial Army destroyed it ten years ago. But, being a mercenary, I have no real allegiance. That's why I'm working here now. Don't worry, though. I don't plan to turn on you. Yet. This has been- this has been the week of learning, everybody. And of possibly getting married to Manuela, I guess. And Leone. We did good out there. Perfect. I might need to change that up at some point. This should be suitable. Learned heal. Nice. Now to apply this knowledge. Sword breaker. That'd be good for her. It's starting to feel like a part of me. Knows Feratu and Faith level two. So now we're starting to get somewhere. I see. All right. The coming week. Ignatz would like to would like to visit. Let's do it. How incredible. What a striking color. Ah, Professor. Look at this stone. I like the color of dirt, too. Such a brilliant blue. You don't normally find stones like this around here. I ought to grind it down. I wonder if it would still be the same color. Why would you grind it down? To make pigment for my art. Good supplies don't come cheap. I prefer to make my own. Blue is especially expensive. How fortunate that I chanced upon this remarkable blueness. Oh, I'm sorry. There I go again, blathering on and on about painting. Well, it's just a hobby, right? Oh, yes. But I know that I can get rather caught up in it and, uh, enthusiastic. You know, Professor, no matter how impassioned I become about my art, you never hold it against me. One could argue that I'm better off preparing for our next battle. I am becoming a knight. Wouldn't you rather become an artist? Oh, Professor. Please don't say things like that. I gave up on my artistic dreams long ago. To support my family, I will be a knight. That's that. Will you regret that choice? No. I know it's the right thing to do. I'll continue with my art as a hobby. I don't think I could ever give it up. When I see something beautiful, I can't suppress the urge to paint it. I don't have a choice. And if my art can bring happiness to even one... That's good enough for me. As long as you're sure. Professor? I have a favor to ask. I'm painting a portrait right now. When it's finished, I'd like to give the piece to you. Would you take it? Perhaps it can bring you a little happiness. That will have made the effort well worth it. Oh, excellent! Is that a promise? Because I'm really going to put my heart in it. Uh, that is... I'm going to enjoy partaking in this casual hobby of mine. Oh, Ignatz. 
Hopefully he uh, he learns that his paintings can can bring happiness as well as support his family. Thank you so much. I heard that you handed a crushing defeat to those Fodlin's Locket deserters. Sounds like after your little in intervention, they changed their tune and are back on our side. Thanks for keeping them in line. Alliance Youths. Quest complete. Thanks. I'm glad I asked you. Nice work out there. Some mercenaries heard uh, news of your valiant leadership and have come to the monastery to offer their services. Blue cheese! Oh, we got next week as well to, to do. As well. I think... You know what, I'll explore and get some of the training in that I've, that I've missed. Because there's really not much else to do, so I'm just going to go ahead and train with, uh, with, with people I know I can train with. As soon as I find them. We'll start with Flane over in the, uh, the acceptance hall. Yes. No matter the path, anything yeah, we've been through this before. Uh, hey, teach me, teach me how to Dougie. Teach me, teach me how to Dougie. Thank you. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go up to the cathedral and see what I can spend my renown on. Let's see. Hello? Need something? Yes, yes, I do. Lance skills, axe skills, or bow skills? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into lance skills because I want to unlock. I want to unlock the path to getting uh, faith plus two. See you again soon. The uh, the sequel to Cartman's Christian Band. Marianne, actually. I hope you could you could train me. Get level up, I learned Faith Level 3. Thank you! Thank you for all of your tutelage. Tutelage, tutelage, tutelutelutelage. It's been to all re maybe I- And you? Oh, I- uh, he's- okay, never mind, I'm better at swords than you, so I can't train with you. Lysithia, however, could teach me about- I believe she could teach me about both faith and reasoning, so... Depends on what I want. Lysithia? Advanced drills. Uh, give me, give me faith. If I can get up to B, then I'll start working at them a little bit more evenly. Great. Five whole years. Hey. Hello, Manuela. Uh, not gifts. I want advanced. I want. I want an advanced drilling. No, wait, not like that. Okay, uh, let me go to Sedith, who can also teach me the ways of the sword. Five, the church. And drills in the soul. Actually, teach me authority. Because I want to be able to use some of those A rank, uh, A ranks there. Can anybody else teach me anything? Uh, Lawrence probably could. We'll go see him. Lawrence? I have written... Uh, yes! Make me B plus! There is still... Still much to learn. I think I'll, I'll use the last two on, uh, on, on dinner arrangements. But, I also see Professor. that we have some, uh, some talkies. Professor. Catherine, you got a little close there. Catherine would like to speak with you. Is now a good time? Yes. I was trying to catch you off guard, but you managed to block it. Not too shabby, Professor. <laughs> my throat! My throat! That was dangerous. Oh, come on. Look at the blade I threw. It's just a wooden training sword. At worst, you could have gotten a bruise or perhaps a splinter. Let's agree it was funny and move on. It, could, it would have hurt enough. Aw, poor thing. Aren't you used to getting hurt? You've been in your fair share of battles. Besides, I knew you'd dodge in time. <laughs> I wanted a, a box to come saying, yeah, from the enemy, not from an ally. I told you before that I was going to observe you. Since then, I've been watching you. I know what you're capable of. Uh... I took steps to make myself invisible so I could observe you without being detected. I hardly let you out of my sight. Oh my god! Go back and watch the Fire Emblem Fates episode I did where I'm talking- where my character's talking to Saizo. 
It's exactly the same situation. After extensive research, I've concluded that you really are first rate. Your sword skills are impeccable. You're a gifted educator. You clearly love working with the students. Someone with all of your exceptional qualities should not exist, but here you are. At first, I thought Geralt was the reason for Lady Rhea's interest in you. But no, Lady Rhea knew exactly what she was doing when she singled you out. Unfortunately, I can't hope to emulate you, let alone wield the sword of the creator. So my plan of imitating you for Lady Rhea's attention has come to nothing. So you're gonna stop watching me? I didn't say that. When we rescue Lady Rhea, I'll provide her a full report of your activities. Hopefully, then I'll be in her good graces. Oh, and don't think you can avoid being watched. I won't let you out of my sight. Even when I'm... ESPECIALLY THEN! Always watching, Wazowski. Always watching. Alright, well, let's make our way up to the dining hall, because I think I got one other conversation I could have with somebody here. Hello? Professor? Dorothea! This may seem a bit sudden, but... I want to thank you, Professor. That is, for letting me live my life the way I want. I've noticed you've been giving me fewer of those soul-revealing gazes lately. I appreciate you making an effort to not trouble yourself over who I spend my time with. So you found me out. Well, of course. <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't notice? It's kind of sweet in its own way. <laughs> Professor, may I tell you a story about when I was younger? I was an orphan, living in the back alleys of Enbar, until one day I was overheard singing. That was when my new life began. I was suddenly a songstress in the Middle Frank Opera Company. Performers, nobility... I met so many people. But none of them ever really knew me. I was just some young, pretty girl who could sing. A spectacle to be admired. Even though everyone praised my looks and my voice and they showered me with gifts, I knew one day I'd be old. My looks would fade. My voice would change. I wouldn't sound the same. And I started to wonder, when I did get old, what would I have left? I'd be old, alone, and back on the streets of the capital, right where I'd started. I don't believe that's true. You can never be certain about what the future will bring. I never had much to begin with in life, and I worry that one day, I'll be that way again. That's why I keep searching for someone who will love me. Someone unaware of the songstress. Who can love a girl that used to be scared and alone on the streets of the capital. <laughs> I wonder if such a strange person can even exist. I mean, you kind of bared your soul to me, so... You know, there's that. Alright, let's eat with some of my students. Dad, I keep calling them students! My allies! They're my allies! It's Sweet Tooth Week! Lysithia, Marianne, get in here! We're having a feast! We're having a sale! Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. All right, and full menu. I've been trying to play matchmaker with a uh, with a couple people in particular. I wonder if uh, if they would both show up on. Let's see. No, no. There we go. Raphael and Bernadetta. This is delicious. My absolute favorite! Ooh, this is my favorite! You've got great taste! Nice. And the Yoshis grew happier. Oh, before I end, well, let's see. Let me see what supports I have. Does anybody have any specific supports? Yes! We're gonna be getting a lot of supports done here. Support, support, support. Let's go to the cathedral real fast. 
So that way I could read some notes. There is one note. Sometimes I think I, that living like I do, single but surrounded by talented youths, might not be such a lonely life after all. After all, I'm not lonely. Really. I think you should be honest with yourself like a mother ever around you. If you get lo if you do get lonely, I can lend you an ear, because I know that's exactly what she wants to hear. Yep. Bingo! Alright, before we end off the week, let's go ahead and uh, go into those support conversations. We got Cloud and Hilda. I feel like I'm drowning in responsibilities. Cloud, take my mind off it all. Regale me with another of your weird childhood stories. Okay, then. How about an old story from a foreign land that my dad told me when I was a kid? Once upon a time, there was a white camel that got separated from his herd. <laughs> I'm so happy for that white camel. I really thought he was gonna die. Was that story really worth bawling your eyes out over? <laughs> it was wonderful. Don't you know how moving that story is? You know, I never thought much of it until today. But seeing you bawling like that, I do appreciate it a little more now. <laughs> What's that mean? Well, you're always fake crying, aren't you? Getting all misty-eyed to make people think you're a delicate flower. What? You're awful! I only cry when I'm sad! Claim what you like, but I can spot real tears from fake tears any day of the week. Fess up. <laughs> if you understand me so well, maybe it's because you're no different. How's that? When you smile or laugh, it's not sincere. I can tell. I've only seen you genuinely smile a handful of times. Like when you're talking to the professor. Wow, good one, Hilda. You hit me right in the gut. I guess you're right. I'm not so different from you in that way. But how did you come to realize that? Have you been watching me that closely? I'm afraid so. My eyes seem to wander toward you of their own accord. What? <laughs> Hold on. Forget I said that. I didn't say that. Nope, no can do. Forgetting isn't something this crafty brain of mine is capable of. Besides, my eyes have a tendency to wander in your direction, too. How else do you think I found out about your fake crying? Huh? What are you getting at? Say, Hilda, once everything settled down, do you want to come meet my parents? I mean, don't get the wrong idea, you just seem interested in my family. Besides, you've opened up to me quite a bit, but I still haven't let you in on my own secrets. If you meet my parents, I think you'll understand. Though it might come as a bit of a surprise. Your family? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Well then, if neither of us changes our minds before the opportunity presents itself, let's agree to go visit my home together. Although, if it's a long journey, my brother might not be too happy. True, that might be a tough nut to crack. As tough as Fodlan's locket. Hilda's Hilda's grown over the past five years. Usually, like, I'd be giving Hilda a lot of bull right now about how like she's she doesn't like want to do stuff, but like the the fact that instead of trying to find a way out of her responsibilities, she wanted Claude to tell her a story. That's growth. That's and she's she's much more tolerable now than she was five years ago. Anyway, Lysithia and Lawrence. Picking wildflowers? Seems such a common activity for someone like you. To me, the most beautiful flower is the one that blossoms by its own strength. Lysithia, please accept this as... Knock it off! Uh, sorry. It's just that the thorns are a bit sharp, and I'm not a fan of killing nature. True sympathy, even for the smallest wildflower. I admire your kindness. When you inherit your house, that kindness will be a balm to your subjects. They and the neighboring lords will trust you instinctively. Politics. Again. The Alliance has been harmed in the past by lords who thought only of themselves, who saw others as a means to an end. But you! You understand others' pain. With you around, I am quite hopeful that the Alliance will flourish again. 
That's not something you should get your hopes up about. House Ordelia will end with my father. I'm sorry? I understand you have a distaste for politics, but could you really allow a noble house three centuries old to fall to ruin? This goes beyond you and even your house. What would become of Fodlin if all its noble houses withered away in such a manner? The people would be in disarray. The balance of power would crumble. Chaos would rule. No, it's just... My body, unfortunately, is not built to last. And I have no siblings. When I die, that's the end. What? Noble birth has been nothing but a source of pain for me. For me, and for my parents. We got sucked into the rebellion in the Empire, and it led to... many responsibilities for us. The things we went through... I can hardly bear to speak of it. All I want now is to give my mother and father the chance to live out their years in peace. I intend to do whatever I can to ease the hardships of our people, while I still have life left in me. Naturally, I worry about what will come to pass after I'm gone. But I'm sure things will work out, so long as there are people like you around working so hard for a better future. So you have been thinking of the future, even despite all of that. I... I am so sorry, I had no idea. Lysithia, I have offended you most persistently. Please find it in your heart to forgive my impudence. Don't worry about it. If you're so insistent upon being my friend, I'm sure more tasty snacks and tea will help persuade me. But if speaking of the future holds such importance, better to find someone who actually has one. I understand. Yes, let's take tea together again soon. And there we have it! The source of Lysithia not wanting to be treated as a child. She has to grow up fast. She f she feels, anyway, she has to grow up fast in order to be able to, uh, to give her parents an easy life. That is, uh, well... For someone to take on that much responsibility is is, you know, admirable, but at the same time, I don't know. I, clearly, we don't know the whole story just from that, but that's pre pretty sure that's kind of like the, the, we can kind of like rack that up to why she feels like she has to do everything on her own and why she feels uh, insulted for being treated as a child. She wants to be seen as an adult so she can do adult things and therefore give her parents a break. That was worded poorly, but you get what I mean. Let's go ahead and end, the, end uh, this weekend. I'll instruct the students manually this time around. No harm could come from it, right? All right. Raphael. Uh, Lysithia, I'm gonna pump, uh... Gonna pump the, the, uh, the faith. It's like pumping the brakes, but not. Uh, Leone. Might as well get your, your, uh, Lance's grade is almost an A. I wonder if I'll get him up to, I highly doubt it, but I wonder if I can get him up to S or S plus rank before, uh, oh no, you're nearly up to B plus. Uh, Lance, uh, like, if I got all the skills that I'm working at for a bunch of these characters up to, like, S rank or whatever, like, what would I do for them then? I'd have to consider something. Oh, one perfect would have been great. We've got four left. Dorothea. There we go. Budding talent. She now excels at faith. I feel like I learned something new. Uh, I want to go with Lawrence, but he's not feeling up to it right now. Flane only has twenty-five. Let's go, Raphael. We're gonna make his fists the strongest they could possibly be. His fists are going to break through everything. And Marianne. 
Marianne, uh, why don't we work on your authority? I get, here's the thing, everybody in, in these houses could use like the authority skill. Now it's up to let rank C. Now to apply to Titan Renewal. God, Marianne is just like so much more confident than she was like in, in the past. It's insane her transformation. Group tasks, uh, let's go with Skywatch. And... Uh, let's do this one, yeah. Cause they're already A rank. Goals, do I wanna switch up anybody's goals? I think everyone's good for the time being. Lawrence, we're trying to get into faith. Yeah, everything's good for the time being. Begin training! All right, so going over the budget for the last meeting, uh, I think that we should really consider some of the stuff in the, the future when we, oh, is it, do, do we really spend a week talking about this? Uh, go fly. Let's show them the power we've acquired. Dear goddess, please protect us. That wasn't so bad. Not so bad, you got a perfect, a perfect. I'm glad I'm getting better. Burning his bow went up. I suppose it's working. Manuel learned warp. Is Bernadetta A plus? Yes. Just been letting Catherine learn learn the sword of her own accord. Haha, -ha, it rhymed. Alright, enough of that. Whew. Alright. Everything we got going on here. I'm thinking that this would be a good place to end it off. Next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses, well, it looks like we've got a mission at the end of the month. See you all then, later.